So it is Friday before Quilt Market. I leave at like the crack of dawn on Wednesday morning. So everything has to be done by Tuesday before I go to bed, hopefully early. So right now I am working on a new version of Medallion Star that is going to be in the Majestic Batiks booth. I'm really loving these colors. I think we're gonna get a kit to go with it. So check it out. All right, these colors fun. I loved them. And now I have lots of sewing to do. All right, so it's now about 10.30 on the Friday before quilt market and I have finished my last quilt top. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna show it to you guys now. I did another version of Medallion Star, this time using a new collection that's coming out from Majestic Batiks. They're super yummy fabrics. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a kit for this because it's really awesome. So here it is. So when I last checked in with you guys, I had one of these wedges done and I was working on a second. So this is a super fast quilt. I pretty much have gotten the majority of the top together this afternoon. Um, so it goes pretty fast. And that's because the it basically goes together in six big wedges. So you sew the rows together on an angle and then you sew those together to make the six wedges and then it's together. So this was a really fun top to do. This is now my third time making the top. So obviously that helps it go faster but I really just love how these colors are playing together. It's probably hard to tell on the camera, but that's a dark blue background, so that'll be really fun. Um, it's a batik solid, which means it's kind of a mottled look, um, and it really frames it really nicely. It is Saturday morning, and I'm talking quietly because there's a knitting class going on in the back classroom. So I'm not sewing this morning because they are busy uh, learning how to do two at a time 12 socks and so what I'm gonna be doing is I've got a whole bunch of Hasbro triangles here that need to get trimmed down to one and a half inches these are all of the Hasbro triangles that were left over when I made the dimensions block of the month you can see it right there hanging in our quilt shop this is going to be in Clothworks booth at Quilt Ladder Synonymous and they need a coordinating for a pillow so I am cutting all these down and I'm gonna make a throw pillow. And that's my last thing that needs to get the top done for quilt market. Okay, so I've trimmed all my half square triangles. I know this doesn't look like a lot, and that's because there's over 300 in what's going to become an 18 inch pillow. So obviously it's taking up way more space than that because all of the seam allowances are still there. So now I get to sew all these together tonight, hopefully. It is Saturday, by the way, at about five-ish. So I spent the whole day trimming half square triangles. Okay, it is now about 11.30 on Saturday night and my half square triangles are almost two thirds of the way together into an 18 inch pillow. This is what they look like before. And then you can tell they shrink down quite a bit once the seam allowances come out, but I'm really loving how this is turning out. All those seams are pressed open, which helps those points really stay nice so obviously there's a ton of seam allowance back there so this is gonna be a really sturdy pillow but that is enough for tonight we're calling it a night hey guys it is sunday afternoon i spent the morning with my family going to church and the local museum and then i snuck away for a couple hours to do the quilting or start it on one of the quilts that we're going to have at quilt market but i've got about a quarter of the way through and i've decided i'm done for now because it's mother's day and i'm feeling a little guilty for not spending it with my daughter so i'll show you the quilting and then i'm out of here for the rest of the day so i'm quilting this fern like shape in the background of this it uh, is a big maze design and it uses a jelly roll and the title is called maze this is one of majestic boutiques newer collections so we'll show you the whole thing later so it is now 1 37 a.m on what is now monday so i felt super guilty as you know in the last clip and ended up going home so i was only here for a couple hours and I got through maybe like half of the background doing these ferns. So I came back at 10 after my daughter had gone to bed, finished the ferns and went through all of the piece parts with different color changes. That part didn't take very long at all. These ferns took a while, but they sure do look pretty. I'm gonna love the texture on that. And this is fun. So it's made with a jelly roll. 
which means when you cut it into a half square triangle and you put them together like that, they're supposed to be offset. So if you are a beginner or you just don't like being too specific about your piecing, this is a really fast, fun pattern. And as long as you use some busy fabric, it's all good. So we got a piece of cupcake fabric in the mail and somebody wants me to sew with her. And unfortunately I can't because it's quilt market craziness. But she took it upon herself to put it in the sewing machine. And we have some pins in there. And I'm the mother of the year because I didn't even realize that there were pins involved in this situation. Hey mom, I put the pins in there on my sew. I saw that. You know the pins are sharp. You're supposed to use those with mommy. Mom, help me. Okay. Mommy will help you make something as soon as I get back from Quilt Market. How does that sound? Do stuff like this for me. Do stuff. What do you want the cupcake fabric to be? Um, a pillow. A pillow? Yeah. That's awesome. Then you can sleep on it at night and dream of cupcakes. Do cupcakes. Do you like making cupcakes? Yeah. Who's your favorite cupcake maker? Uh, Mickey. So now, whose videos do we watch all the time? Um, Cupcake Jamma. Cupcake Jamma. Check her out. Best vanilla buttercream ever. Cupcake Jamma. Hey, it is now Monday. Yes, it's Monday. And it's in the afternoon, actually about dinner time. And I always love like what I'm working on last the best. And I don't know if you guys are the same way, but I'm doing a third version of Medallion Star right now. And I've got it on the long arm. I've done my first pass and I'm in love. So let me show you guys. So I've chosen this really cool variegated thread that has like some deep teals, navies, and purples. So it is looking really cool against this navy blue background. You can kind of see it a little bit better now that I've backed away. And um, so that's in the background. And then we have these really fun batiks and I am outlining them uh, with the 4-in-1 ruler from Natalia Bonner and then also going in and doing those swoops. Some of them you can see them real clearly on, others uh, it blends away a little bit more. Uh, but it will look super cool when it's all done. So time to quilt some more. All right, it is 12.15 and it is now Tuesday. I leave for Portland in a little over 24 hours. I have to be at the airport at like 3 a.m. or some ridiculously early hour. Um, but I have finished quilting my last big quilt, so here it is. This is a new version of Medallion Star and obviously it's the middle of the night so the lighting isn't spectacular. But this is Majestic Batiks, one of their new lines that I'm working with. Um, Reba, the owner, um, picked out where she wanted the colors to be, but I chose the fabrics that I wanted to work with from what they have coming out. I really like this uh, collection, it's called Cobbler, really, really beautiful. We'll have to do it later in better lighting. All right, I'm gonna go get like maybe six hours of sleep and then I'll be back at it again tomorrow. Tomorrow I've gotta do binding, I need to finish my pillow for Clothworks booth and I need to pack and I'm trying to be done by like five-ish um, so that way I can spend some time with my daughter, uh, my four-year-old future quilter before I leave. Today she's like, mommy, I go on the plane with you please? And I'm like, no honey, not this time. So I'm, I'm going to miss her and she's going to miss me. So I want to make sure I have some good quality time and I'm not sewing to the wee hours tomorrow. So that's why I've been doing it the last two nights. So we'll see you tomorrow when I'm doing binding. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so in love with this pillow. I finally finished all the little half square triangles and it's adorable. And I'm a hot mess right now. And my daughter's here and I'm leaving in less than 12 hours. And I'm not packed yet, that's a problem. I am my daughter singing. So these are all one inch finished half square triangles from Kinkami Shade. So they look like solids right now but they actually are ombre fabrics. So this goes with my dimensions walk of the month, which you will see when we get to market. It is about 10 o'clock on Tuesday night. I need to leave in a plane in just a few short hours. Hey, and my daughter's still up because I'm mother of the year when I'm getting ready for quilt market. This is my suitcase. I have the teeniest little bit left for actual clothes and the rest of it is all going to be taken up by things that are coming with. So very exciting. So I'm walking in downtown Portland, Oregon, carrying quilts, a giant throw pillow facing out, 
as I walk to the convention center because it's a nice day, it's only a half mile walk, and most importantly, I'm too cheap to pay for an Uber. So here we go, we're about to start. So we didn't have enough binding for one of the quilts. So the fabric manufacturer, Majestic Boutiques, made up the binding and brought it with and a sewing machine for me to borrow. So I'm in my hotel room doing binding and they need it immediately. I like flew in this morning and we need it done. So I'm about to cheat and glue my binding on. So I've already sewn it to the front of the quilt like you normally would, but instead of hand stitching it to the back, um, I'm gonna glue it down with steam seam, so it's gonna be super fast. I'm gonna show you how I do that. So I've got this package of steam seam two. This will do a lot of your quilts. Now this is not a permanent solution. This is a crap I need it to look finished thing. So let me pull this out here. So there's like this paper side. You wanna pull the paper off like that. Then I'm going to lay it down Kind of, uh, kind of close to the edge. So this is eventually like I would need to go back and do this by hand before it would get washed. But this will totally hold your binding in place for quite a while um, if you can't get to it to bind it right away. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it over the same way I would if I were binding by hand. Get that nice and tight against the edges. Now I'm gonna hit that with an iron and just let it sit there. And then see it's sticking down. So I'm gonna keep doing that all along the edges of my quilt to glue it down. Okay, do I look here or here or here? I'm totally gonna to put that in there. <laughs> I think the camera's right here. Oh, okay. I think we're Hi. looking right there. Oh, you're recording! <laughs> I am. No, this is awesome. This is real time. Remote. This is real life. Hi guys. Hey! <laughs> so Krista and I just got dinner. Yay! I love hanging out with Stephanie. She's so fun. We were just like jabber jabber the whole we're time, fun. like million miles a minute. We're talking business. I know, make sure all and the fun. stuff my teeth. I know, I probably have some wine. Mm, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> we ate, what was it, Lebanese? Lebanese food. Food. Oh my gosh. So, uh, chicken kebabs. We with both had the same. Vegetables. Thing. Uh, it was so good. Very good. And, yeah, very healthy for us. Very yummy. To make up for the cookie that I got at my hotel earlier today. <laughs> Chris is getting healthy. I'm getting healthy. I you have can a hashtag. Follow her on Instagram. Yes, Krista gets healthy, and you can see my journey, and mm -hmm. you can keep me accountable. So yes, yeah, it's awesome. It's you know, I told my friend I'm on the I don't have time to eat crap diet. Yeah, and that's that working is, pretty oh well. Oh my for gosh, me. that's so that's right. That's basically my, how I've lost some weight is I don't have time to eat. Yeah, if you just work the whole time, you just yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm on my feet and I don't have time to snack. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's all that works. It is. Well, you're looking awesome. So. Well, thank you. And we are gonna walk like miles and we miles are. because like your hotel is probably 15 minutes one direction, mine and is yours 15 is another. another. So if I had a Fitbit, I'd be like clocking the miles. It'd well, be awesome. and you walk so well, you won't because you're at a booth all market. But I'm gonna pace like back and forth. There you go. And around, yeah. I, I will. I will get miles. You walking. can do it. Will be awesome. You can absolutely do it. Yeah. And okay. plus, I will be in my booth the whole time, so I won't be eating. So you won't. There you you go. will not have time to eat either. You're yeah. gonna be on the I don't have time to eat crap diet this that week. That is. I love that. That's it's all good. Diet. Yay. Hey, there we I don't go. Have time to eat crap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. I will see you on the show floor. Okay. The biggest thing I want to see, so today's the first day of market before it opens and yeah. everybody's all smiles and excited. I want to see how everybody feels on Sunday to see if we're still with the smiles or if we're like tired. So. I am but going be to be like at home in my bed on Sunday. Oh, lucky you. I know. I fly out <laughs> Saturday. Awesome. Cool. Well, this okay. will be fun. I'll see you. Yay. Yay. See you. So it is the end of the first day of market. It isn't like technically like... You can't buy anything today. Um, today's the day that everybody starts setting up. There's some classes available. So I flew in today because I'm giving what's called a schoolhouse tomorrow. And that's where I get to talk about my first book. So that's going to be really exciting. I'm going to try and get some people to maybe do some video of that. I'm not sure how that's going to work because it's kind of a skeleton crew so we'll see how that goes or doesn't go i'll recap it one way or another but that's really all i have to do tomorrow i'm doing an interview with jessica vandenberg of so many creations in the morning and that's it for my schedule for tomorrow so that's pretty easy peasy um today was mostly just dropping off quilts doing last minute sewing i had to sew a hanging sleeve on stuff i got to do the binding which you saw um, I've got one more quilt label to sew on that I'll drop off with QT Fabrics for their booth first thing tomorrow. And then I get to spend tomorrow working on some quilt patterns that are going to be coming out very soon. So that's going to be kind of fun to just kind of sit and do some work. Um, 
<clears throat> excuse me I know that probably doesn't sound fun but when you get to write quilt patterns and like see your work come to fruition that's really fun so my daily life I really don't wear makeup it's not something that I enjoy doing putting on makeup every day but I definitely do for the video tutorials and then whenever I'm meeting people in person so quilt market is a meeting people in person day so I have adult acne which I treat with rodent fields it's a lot better than it was but even though I have nothing active going on it's super uneven and not good so I have lots of makeup that we'll be putting on here today and here is what I'm going to use to transform my face it's a mix of stuff from my salon and then just drugstore stuff that I purchased that I like. All right, so I've now been transformed. Uh, just basically getting the unevenness of the adult acne scarring. If you guys deal with this too, I totally sympathize with you. It sucks to be in your 30s and have acne. But uh, so I did primer, liquid foundation, uh, set it with a loose powder, and then did eyes, brows, just filling in. Um, I'm Italian, I got some brows, let me tell you. There would be more if I hadn't waxed them away in the 90s when thin brows were in. Um, and some contour, highlight, blush, and concealer, of course, the under lie, and then also to cover up some of this adult acne, which you can't really see too much anymore. And then lipstick I found this long wear stuff I really like uh, because I don't have to worry about touching it up during the day so super cool and my hair is nice and straightened down and washed today so I am ready to go see people in real life and hopefully bring Quilt Addicts Anonymous to another higher level so let's get started with Quilt Market since the very beginning of starting to blog and then teach people how to quilt I wanted to break it down so that it People can do something easily without a ton of books. And so we have quilts in this book that are really simple and definitely can be your very first quilt. And then we have quilts like this one, which when you break it down, are not bad. You have no Y seams ever. We do strip piecing whenever possible. The book also includes everything you need to know about piecing, color theory. So you can definitely use this as your beginner quilting book. We use a lot of negative space. We show you how to use those big modern prints, give you some quilting ideas and tips and tricks. So let's get in and look at some of the quilts. I only brought a few of them because it's already overweight on my suitcase. <laughs> And we have a lovely canvas who is going to follow the oh, wow. Is it right? Wow. We gotta Go on, make yeah. one turn. Oh, this. Either way. I saw the label at the bottom. It's all good. <laughs> it was the other side. This one is called Stripes. It's super easy. This could be someone's first quilt and they could feel really accomplished. These parts are the top and sides of strip piece. So we mm -hmm. also have instructions on how to do usable applique, which is a really great technique for beginners or anybody who's willing to do, try and do something quickly. This quilt makes use of negative spaces. So you can teach this one easily as a beginner applique class because it just has to do that center panel in the applique. And I windowed all of that so that way it would be really nice and flexible when it's quilted. Beautiful. So this one, again, a lot of negative space. Natalia Bonner quilted this one because I knew she would do a really fabulous job with all that negative space. These triangles are strip piece. This one is super fun and it's strip piecing, easy. This would be a good like second or third quilt for a beginner to try or just somebody who wants something fun um, to give as a gift or have on their own pouch throw. The quilts are lap to king size, but I just brought the smaller ones here because we only have a 15 minutes to chat. <laughs> um, this one here is Yuzu's Clawford's Kami Shades. I really love this fabric. I also did a block of the month that you can see at their booth. What piece number are you at? 1632. 1632, check it out. It's great because you get all this color change from one with a fabric. So again, this looks super complicated. It looks like it's gonna be Y seams and a big heading, but it isn't. What you're gonna do first is you're gonna cut your triangles and then sew it together to get your diamond. And then you sew together the diamonds on the diagonal rows, and then you join them to get your base diamond. So when you break it down, it's not hard. 
So I just wrapped up my first schoolhouse. It was super fun and I talked very fast and got as much in as I possibly could. Uh, it, was, it was fun. I'm glad it's over though because that was like the thing I was worried about all day was doing well and fitting everything into 15 minutes and finishing on time and all that good stuff. So I'm so thankful that Clothworks was here to help out and we also had Joanna, the editor over at Quilt Some More, was helpful. She walked in and Clothworks wasn't there yet. She's like, can I help? And I'm like, absolutely. So we'll be, I'm sharing a photo of us together on Instagram in a little bit. Um, and I've got a quilt pattern in Quilt Some More soon so that'll be fun so you'll be able to see that very soon too so rest of the day planned I gotta get my suitcase back to the hotel because it's massive and so I'll uber to do that and I've got dinner with cloth work so that'll be fun I think it's a small crew so that'll be fun just to kind of sit and hang out we already were chatting for quite a bit about everything from vet bills to emergency room trips and giddy when we have a baby like they're fun to talk with. They're super fun. So I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. And I think I've got some photo stuff to do with Majestic Boutiques, but I'm waiting to hear back on that. So if I get to get into the exhibit hall, I might get snuck in. You're supposed to ha only be in there if you have an exhibitor badge, but they maybe are going to sneak me in and say I'm somebody else. But it's for an actual purpose to take photos for a catalog. So I have a real purpose of being there. And that's it for the day. I've been working on some patterns back at the hotel. Uh, we'll have some new stuff coming out and I'll show you what those are uh, tomorrow when I'm walking the exhibit floor and everything is open to check out. If you ever want to know what market looks like when it's getting set up, this is it. Big shipping crates, forklifts, and everybody working like crazy to make everything look beautiful. All right, so it is the end of Friday night at market. It was a pretty fun day, um, pretty chill day. I was just kind of hanging out in the hotel room a lot, prepping myself mentally for my first schoolhouse, which I think went pretty well, so I'm good with that. And then I got to have dinner with the lovely folks from Clothworks. Um, we went with the president and creative director and some of the other staff who helped make that work and run got to meet some of their sales reps it was really a low key there were maybe i don't know a dozen or so people there so it was really fun and it was this great restaurant um called lechon and it is spanish food so they had like tapas and it was really fun and there were these fish tanks everywhere and there were these jellyfish just floating around they were very entertaining um so good day, fun day, I'm tired because even though it's only 10.30 here, it's 12.30 where I am normally. So even though, you know, I stay up late sometimes working on some quilt deadlines, but it's just, it's been a long road to get here and so I'm tired now. Um, so I'm gonna get the makeup off, what's left of it, and go to bed. And tomorrow market opens, so we get to actually see the show floor in all its glory and I'll shoot some video as I'm walking around. You can see some of my quilts that will be hanging in the booth. So see you guys in the morning. So it is Friday at the end of the day. Um, today was the first day market was open to do the buying. So I totally listened to an audiobook while I was getting ready this morning drained my battery and my phone was dead like within like my first hour of being on the market floor so I have zero video from today sorry guys I failed um but today was my buying day so I met with the reps from different fabric companies to do the buying for the shop between now and December so I pretty much have everything figured out between now and then so that's pretty nice I don't have to mess with it later but tomorrow is kind of my fun day I fly back tomorrow um but I get to spend the day kind of walking around and enjoying. I did get to see everything today, but there's always a lot to see and tomorrow I can kind of get a closer look, see what trends are going on and do some video because I failed miserably today. Um, so we'll do that. I also had dinner with Reba and Kim over at Majestic Boutiques. They're a small family owned um, manufacturer boutiques and I've worked with them for a long time and they're really great people so we had fun catching up and talking business and and going from there so that was fun we had some good 
Thai food and even though it's eight o'clock now it's like 10 o'clock we're in the Midwest where I'm from so I'm tired and I'm gonna be up early because I'm getting breakfast with Lee Monroe from May Chapel Patterns I pre-ordered a couple of her new designs so we are like quilting besties so I always have fun when I get to hang with her so we will have lunch to or breakfast tomorrow morning and then I am interviewing Juicy Juice for the podcast and some radio and then I get to wander around a little bit get some video and then fly home so market is almost done for me it goes through Sunday but I've just been gone a lot lately doing shows at Chicago and Paducah and then busting my rear to get ready for this one and so I'm just kind of ready to go home and relax and my sister had a baby like two weeks ago that I haven't seen because she lives three hours from me and I had so much crazy sewing to do that I just couldn't take the time to go and see the new baby. It is her third baby. I did see the first two within like the first 24 hours of when they were born. So I was a good sister and a good aunt for the first two kids. So this third one, I've got to go see her and it'll be fun. So I think that's going to happen Sunday if I'm not too exhausted. That's the plan. So we'll see. All right. So tomorrow we'll get a peek inside market. All right. So for me, it's my last day at Quilt Market because I fly home this afternoon. But it is day two of the show floor being open. It's also open tomorrow on Sunday. Um, I totally failed yesterday. My cell phone died, but I've got some charge today. So we'll show you around. So if you've never been, Quilt Market is like several football fields full of all the newest, latest notions, patterns, and fabrics. They usually have some quilt exhibits as well, and we'll show you some of the goodies. So this is the Rest and Recharge Lounge. This is where you can go if you need to charge your cell phone, or if you just need a place to sit for a minute. Majestic Batiks is decorating at this time. I've worked with Majestic Batiks for a long, long time um, as they've grown it's pretty big. And I've got a new pattern. It's going to be coming out a little bit later this summer. This one here, it's called Maze. Uses a jelly roll and kind of an alternate grid setting. Really fun. Hey, so I'm here with Georgiana at Adornant, and I picked up some of these really cool wood blocks yesterday. So if you like the whole barn quilt thing, but you don't have a barn, you can make one with these. They're beveled out, right? Yeah, so what's so cool about these is you no longer have to tape your lines. We've done the hard work for you, so all the lines are engraved out. All you have to do is literally paint inside the lines with your chalk paint, acrylic paint. Makes it really fun and easy to do. And I was talking with you guys, I think at last market, if you go with a dark wax over it, mm -hmm. it kind of just fills in the lines and you can't tell where you went over, right? Yeah, it's a really fun process. Um, you can make one in less than an hour and they turn out adorable. And I'm kind of addicted to chalk paint too, so this is fun. Yeah. We're bringing some home, so we'll do something at the shop and then probably a video online too for you all. Awesome. Yeah. So this is Checker, their distributor that where you can get lots of things. But one of the big things are notions. So they always have some of the really cool, hottest, trendy items that they are pushing. We've got some really cool stuff in here. Some bozal. They've got these cool rolls. So if you want to do one of the jelly roll rugs, you just need two of those. We're gonna get some for the shop. Really, really fun stuff. Cute stuff that you can get to add to your sewing collection. So I'm in Clothworks booth in front of Dimensions, which is our latest block of the month. It uses Kinkami shades. It's super cool. So shops can do this. Um, so you can ask your local quilt shop to do it um, and bring it in. The patterns and fabric are available through Clothworks, or you can get it from us if your local shop doesn't have it. What's really cool about this is each block is one Kinkami shade, which is an ombre fabric. So this is all one fabric and you get all this cool color variation from the really dark to the really light just by cutting fabric apart across with the fabric. So we've got some video tutorials to show you how to do it. Like this here, all one fabric, super cool. So each block, you're just getting this really cool color change really out of one fabric. So it's really easy to make it look like you are a fabric rock star 
and as you saw earlier, I also did a pillow. This looks like it's a solid from a distance, but when you get in close, you can kind of see it a little bit better that there are some color changes in there. So, really cool stuff and definitely check that out. We'll put a link to it down below. If you're a shop watching this, go check out Clothworks. You can order all the fabric. We've got a shop guide for you that shows you how much you need to order if you're having 10 or 20 kits and that way you don't have to do any math. We did it for you. There's cutting guides and everything too. Um, if you are a consumer watching this and your shop doesn't have it, then you can get it from us as well over at shop.quiltbags.com. Hello, I'm in the Quilter Stream batting booth. This is the batting that I exclusively use. We've got Aaron here, and you are you're a staple at the quilt markets and really Always. consumer shows too. You get to come. Hang on, we have low battery. <laughs> I'm very bad. I I swear it full charge this morning, but it something never around lasts. here. So tell me why Quilted Stream Batting is so awesome. I know why it's so awesome, but what's the science behind it? And the science behind it is we don't use fillers, glues, or resins. All of our battings are cross-slapped and needle-punched, so you're getting pure fiber. You can hand quilt it, you can uh, machine quilt it, domestic quilt it, and we just love our customers who are 100% customer service based. I really like it because it's drapey no matter which um, fiber content you're using. True. And I can quilt the hell out of it. And yes, it you still can. looks really beautiful. You can quilt it to an inch of its life yes. and it's still going to maintain the drapeability. Mm -hmm. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> it has all these colors. So there's black over here. I use that in one of my quilts for market because it was like a really dark blue background. It's great for batiks and whatnot. Yes, it was, it was a batik quilt and I, you're not going to have any of those fuzzies smoking through. No pokies. No pokies. Pokies are awful. So pokies are the bane. They are. But with black it's really fun and I feel like it makes it look more richer when it's it, done. It pops out those tones and really makes them rich. Yes for sure. So thank you for being a little guest on the vlog. Thank you for being a bat girl. Yes <laughs> well and you she knitted this. I did. I finished it she, in the hotel room. Yes. Been awesome. working on it for a year. Finally done. Oh yes. Knitting is it's very travel friendly. It is. So good deal. Thank you. Bye bye. Hi guys, I'm here with Reva World Tikan from Majestic Batiks. Oh, yes. We've worked together for a long time and you've grown quite a bit. You're in almost 50 states now, right? Yes, I am. So you lived in Indonesia. Yes, I and for five years. speak the language and so you can bring in some really cool batiks because you know know a little bit yeah. about Indonesia and the process of making batiks. Yes, yes I do. very cool. So this is one of the ones that we did. Oh, yeah. This is Medallion Star and we kind of had a little bit of a collaborative effort on this. Yep. I kind of said I like these colors and then you said I want them in these spots because there's like 16 different fabrics yep. in this one. But it turned out pretty cute. I literally like how it looks. Yeah. We love the colors. Yes. We do love the colors. And these batiks are made in a really remote area of Indonesia, very specialty and we worked with the designers on these colors and these designs. Because they vary a little bit by what region you go to, right? They do, and this is a, a very specific region for these designs. And a lot of the big manufacturers, they kind of use the same five families. Um, it's hard to say. I know they come from yeah. all over, but I know we come from several areas of Indonesia. Very cool. All right. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. I've worked with it for a long time. They're always really nice to work with. Everything stays the size. Yes, it, it is when you cut it, so that's, that's always a good thing. That's a good thing. A lot of what shops do is they'll do their buying. So there's all of these places where you can get appointments to look at all the new fabric collections that are coming out. And then this is Free Spirits booth. They have lots of examples of quilts showing the new lines. So you can get a really good look at how they're used together. And then there's all these lovely vignettes that show it as well. So here's Anna Maria Conservatory. <laughs> You're fine. Go ahead and walk there. And you can actually meet some of the designers themselves. And Maria is over there. Tula is over here entertaining the masses and showing off for New Line Zuma. This is one of my last quilts on display. This is a new one with Kichi Fabrics. It uses their collection Marlena, which will be out later this summer. We have kits available for this on pre order now. There's a blue and a pink version. It's really fun because it's really easy piecing. You just kind of have to sew some triangles on the side of a square. But that color, the visual interest, is made just by kind of moving the fabric around and your eye with it. So really easy to piece and really fun. 
Here's Andover's booth. They always do a really good job too. We've got people placing orders. You can see all the fabrics, the new lines that are coming out. And then there's usually Lily Alice and Lass. There also are these really fun pop-up shops where you can get pre-cuts of the collections that are being sold. So they're not available uh, in the shops for several months yet, but you can get them. So I picked up one fact quarter bundle of Gypsy, which is Justin Vandenberg's new line because we're ordering it and I can get a sample already ready to be made before the uh, fabric arrives in the shop. So fun stuff. You can come home with some goodies and get to work right away for your shop. All right guys, so my flight is in a couple hours, so this is it for me at Quilt Market. I'm gonna go collect my gigantic suitcase, get an Uber, and head to the airport. So it's been a really fun trip. I hope you guys had some fun seeing all it takes to get ready for Quilt Market, and also the fun stuff that's here uh, while you're there. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll do more fun stuff like this. So bye, happy quilting.